Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings. Inshallah here. Uh, excuse the noise first off in the background. My 3D printer is working day and night these days because I'm I'm doing some uh, interesting experiments. So anyway, in this video today, I'm going to show you the ISDT Q6 Nano uh, smart battery charger. This is a kind of charger that does not have a built-in power supply for your AC, like uh, your built-in wall outlets, 220 or 110 volts. You can use it only outdoors or even indoors using another battery, lithium polymer battery, a bigger battery that you can use to charge other batteries. For instance, I have a, a 16,000 milliamp 6S battery, which can power this baby and charge a lot more batteries. But you always use a smaller battery, but you always use slightly bigger capacity batteries like 5,000 milliamp 4S or 6S 5,000 milliamp to charge these smaller batteries using this charger. All right, so let's look at the ISDT Q6 Nano 200 watt smart charger. Small smart charger. Also know that this uh, charger is available in different colors. Inside the box, user manual, and a charger, nothing else. You have three-way switch right here. You have DC in, okay, XT60. USB port, mini USB, so you can connect the charger to the PC and, uh, you know, upgrade the firmware cooling vents here and a built-in fan here a little screen here as well instruction manual is in, in in English and Chinese both and if I see it quickly give me a moment it says input volts 10 to 30 so I can use up to 6s batteries to power it output volts from 1 to 30 max input current 9 amp balance current 0.5 a per cell max working temperature 0 to 40 degrees C storage temperature minus 20 to 60 degrees and abnormal voltage alarm support it supports abnormal voltage alarm incorrect cell count alarm and battery type and cells supported are LIFE, LIION, LIPO, LIHV 1 to 6S, PB 1 to 12S, NIMH CD, uh, NIMH or NICAD 1 to 16S charging current set up to you you can set the charging current up to 8 amp from 0.1 to 8 amp wow that's a lots of charging current to set when it, when it comes to setting the charging current make sure you know your battery can take it or not otherwise you will have an explosion at your house and a big fire remember that so always set the charging current uh, normally one one amp is more than enough uh, to charge but takes time but again if you know your batteries charging capacity or current uh, what currents it supports you can always set it to higher max charging power is 200 watt discharging current 0 to 1 a only max just discharging power is 10 watt right weight is only 120 grams dimension 72 72 into 32 all right grab a 4s There you go, Q6 Nano. Nice screen. You can switch to system information and volts and others once you are charging a battery. Take an XT30 to XT60 and just power this GN3 300 milliamp 3S battery. Okay. So balance port and power. Okay. I'm in the main power. Now, 12 volts. Now it shows this screen where you see the volts in each cell since system information. It should show more, but once you start charging, so now we are in the system setting. Lowest input voltage, max input power, backlight, volume, completion tone, language, self test calibration. Bat Go technology, of course, this supports battery go te technology and system info. Okay, just press once. It's very difficult having up, down, and center button in this little thing. I'm feeling it's pretty difficult to, you know, operate sometimes. You, you often make mistakes. All right, so we have charge 
tasks we have charge discharge storage dc power and destroy all right now i know why they have destroy feature now because destroy means you will put each of your battery cell down to zero so you can destroy the battery or throw it or discard it without having to worry about you know it catching fire or sparks or something so we will charge chemistry it also already detected lipo condition detected already 4.2 three cell already detected current so yes i want to put it down to 0.3 amp only because this is a 300 milliamp battery okay start start charging now we can see cell ir system info so there's just one more screen before we could see you know this screen and system info but now you can also see cell ir it shows 30 one one cell is 77 oh my god cell 3 is 77 and that is the reason the cell 3 is down to you know lower voltages than the others okay so now it's charging 0.3 amps only what if i increase the amps Will, we, will I blast the battery? Let's let's charge to 0.6A. Are you feeling good? Yeah, she's the battery says I'm feeling good. No worries. So far so good. It feels good. It says it's feeling good. It says it's feeling very, very good. I mean it's feeling so good that it, it has never been feeling that good before. It is feeling so good. It's so still feeling very good. It says it has no problem. It has, it has never felt that good before. In fact, it's feeling that good that it has never felt that good before in the history of its batteries, uh, this category of batteries. I'm giving it higher amps because I want to see the completion tone and how it shows if the battery is fully charged or not. I can increase the current to point 0.8. The battery says I'm still feeling good, very, very good. In fact, I have never felt this good in my life, getting 0.8 amp juice. It's down to 0.6 amp. It's not giving it 0.8 amp. Maybe that's the maximum the battery can take. Or maybe because it's balancing the cells now. I'm constantly looking at battery if there are any signs of swelling or anything I'll just disconnect it immediately and throw it in the toilet all right that's the tone we wanted to hear so that's pre uh, charge tone and once it's charged it will give more beeps repeated tones so there you go okay stopped and I can disconnect the battery safely all right and I can test this battery here. 97%. 4.165, 4.175, 4 4.172. So, not bad. It's basically doing a very good job. Alright, so this is how you charge. I believe this is nice, neat little charger. Uh, to charge the batteries outdoors or indoors using a bigger battery. So, this is nice, neat little charger. And having to have... 200 watt power, 8 amp, up to 8 amp uh, charging uh, current. You can basically charge some of your uh, LiPo batteries in the field at, you know, higher or faster speeds. But again, be careful charging the batteries at higher amps. You must know what the battery can, uh, what is the battery capable of, all right? So this is the ISDD Q6 Nano, people. Like it? Link is in video description.